Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see a challenge in the weekly challenge series of UiPath on the channel which is called Tutorials by Mukesh Kala. The whole objective of this challenge series is to challenge you as an RPA developer in your automation skill. The format of the weekly challenge series is absolutely simple. Every Monday I would share one problem statement to you, some of the guidelines, some of the tips and as an RPA developer you have to solve that problem and you have to send me back whatever you have done. You would have one week to complete the solution and send it back to me. What's interesting is that at the end of the week whosoever is able to complete the solution with complete accuracy, best practices, everything and in a faster way would be the winner for this week and he would be receiving a goodie or a gift from my end. Some of you who are not able to understand the challenge and you want to learn more for them I would upload the step by step solution of the problem statement which we have given at the starting of the week. So in case you are not able to complete you can come back to the channel after one week where I would be posting the complete solution of the challenge whichever I have got right. So that's the whole idea of having the weekly challenge series and I hope you guys would enjoy doing the challenges. So in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next challenge and win an award or a goodie with that let's jump to this week challenge a few announcements before directly jumping to this week challenge so this is a response from the first weekly challenge that we have conducted. Thank you so much everyone for participation. If I talk about the submission, so I have received close to 88 submission. If I talk about the country wise, so I have received a majority of the submission from India. I have received from Brazil, Denmark, Poland and Portugal. Thank you so much for your active participation in the challenge and now let's talk about the winners these are the three winners for our weekly challenge tbmk0001 gayatri rohit and jagadish thank you so much for your participation and congratulations on winning the first challenge i have selected these three winners based on their timely submission correctness of the solution and being a different approach to the solution one of these guys have done the solution without using any loop and he has done with the help of linky queries. In case you haven't already watched the solution video and you want to understand the solution, you can watch the solution video. I have shared the link you one and with the loops in the video. Video link is available in the description for your reference. Also, I have uploaded the complete code of the solution to the website. You just go to mukeshkala.com, go to the challenges section. You would find the first challenge and you have this button here which says download the file. You can click on this button, download the zip file and it should give you the complete code. At any point of time, if you want to refer to the problem statement and the solution video, all of that would be also available in the same website. Okay, so this would be our next challenge which is TBMK0002 and the challenge name is web data entry using the modern design. If I talk about the concept, you guys would learn how to use modern design and also how do you get familiar with the UI automation which is called user interface automation. The problem statement is simple. You have to go to a web page, download an Excel, feed the data to the website. Once the submission is completed, learn, update the status back to the Excel file. How that look like? Let me show that manually and then I'll show you that what exactly is expected from the automation as well. Okay. So you have to go to this website, which is called rpachallenge.com. This is website available on internet. You can just search in Google rpachallenge.com. I'll also provide the link in the video description as well. Okay. So all you have to go to is go to this website, click on this button, which says download the Excel. Okay and it will download an excel file for you which is called challenge okay so if i just double click and open this challenge file okay so this is the data in that excel now if you see you have the first name last name company role address email and phone number 
and if you go back to the web page the same fields are available here right so the automation should read these details one by one from it and come back here and fill this detail in these fields right but the challenge is you have to use the UiPath modern design experiences right you cannot do the automation in the classic experience you have to use the modern design experiences and fill the data here one by one right so you fill the data you click on submit and the layout changes the best part about the RPA challenge website is that as soon as you click on the submit button the layout of the page changes right so you click on submit the layout changes and this is where you have to use your skills to get the selector anchor anything right i leave that to your implementation that you have to fill and complete this data right once the record is inserted for john without any exception you should come back to the excel and you should mention here completed similarly once it is completed for jane the robot should mention here completed 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 like this for all of the records okay now once the record is successfully completed right rpa challenge website is going to show you how much time you have or your automation has took to complete this submission okay and that is the time which you have to share me in the form that yes this is the time which my automation has took to complete it okay so if i show you the problem statement now here this is what is written right download the input excel file from the specified website which is nothing but our rpa challenge which is nothing but our rpa challenge okay open the downloaded excel file extract the information use the data to fill in the web form ensure that the web submission is successful update the status back to the uh, excel file right note the total execution uh, time and the result would be something like this right i'll show you that automation in working right that how does that automation work so this would be your final output okay now if i go back to my uipath studio in my UiPath Studio, I have already completed the code and I want to show you the execution. Okay, so if you see in the project file here, I have already downloaded the file challenge3.xlsx. You no need to download it via the robot, right? You just have to download and keep it in the project folder. Okay, so the file will look something like this, which you download, right? And as you can see that here, there is no status which shows completed, right? Now, this complete automation I have built on UiPath Modern Design Experience. If I go here and I say run the file, but before that I want you guys to notice something, right? I have this Edge browser which is already open on the computer, right? And I am using the Edge browser for my automation. So if I go here and I say run the automation, right? I am not killing excel explicitly because i want to show the result but the thing is the edge browser was automatically cleaned right so i clean the environment right then the robot opens the rpa challenge.com okay to start the automation the robot would now click on this button which is the start button on this web page okay and now you can see that the robot is going to read the data from the excel and it is filling the data into the web page okay once it is successfully completed right you see it is inserting the next set of data right and if i quickly go back to my excel here you would notice that the status is getting updated here as soon as the robot is putting the data into the website once it is done right so i'll minimize this and this will continue for all the 10 records right now one thing you should notice here is that this is a single instance of the browser right every time when the robot is inserting it is using the same instance right so if you close the browser and you reopen it the round will get lost right so as you can see here round 6 round 7 round 8 round 10 is coming right this means that these are the rounds the robot is trying to get the data from the excel right so my automation is running for each of these individual and then it is once successfully inserted it is updating the status back to the excel file okay so once you are done with all these submission 
RPA challenge website is going to show you how much time your automation took. Okay. So this is the round nine. This is the last record, which is Lara. The robot is inserting, right? And you can see the fields are also changing, right? So once you are successfully done, the robot shows a message, my automation completed, right? But if I go to the output, I have put complete logs that I inserted record for John, Jane, Albert, Michael and all. My success rate was 100%, 70 out of 70 fields in 96728 milliseconds, right? So this is the time which my automation take. I can definitely guarantee you that you guys are much smarter and you would be able to complete it in much shorter time, right? If I go back to my Excel, you can see that all the records are updated as completed here, right? So that means that all these records are inserted successfully, right? I have not closed this Excel, but I'll just mark it as save, right? Via automation. But if you notice here, I have no instance of the edge, which is open. Okay. So that means that one of the evaluation criteria is that how well you have coded the automation. Okay. How proper are your logs? All the application which this automation was using are open and closed successfully, meaning the cleaning of the environment, right? So these are the some of the best practices, guys, you should follow when you are doing this automation. Okay. Going back to the document. Now, I hope you understand this complete thing, right? So this would be the evaluation criteria efficiency. How efficient is your program accuracy? Have you done the exception handling? And you should use the modern design experiences. Okay. Modularity, how properly you have modulated the code. Are you properly closing and opening the application? And do you have a proper logging? Okay. So this would be the evaluation criteria. Let's talk about the submission, right? So for the submission, again, you have to share the UiPath project file like you did in the previous submission. And you have to submit your solution in the link which is provided in the description. Okay. Let me quickly show you the link as well. So this is how the submission page look like. This is exactly the same thing, but you would see the new challenge here. These are the details. You have to provide your name, email address. You have to tell me whether you have used the modern activities or not. Yes. And then what is the completion time, right? So if I go to my automation here, so this was the output which we see on the screen, right? So the same output I have printed on my log message as well, right? So I can see that for me, the submission time is 96728, right? So while submitting the challenge, I'll simply mention here 96728, what was my completion time in the millisecond, right? Don't put any additional details. Just put the number 10203204, right? It's in milliseconds, right? So that should be your time. Then provide the code zip where is your actual code zip it and upload the code here provide your country address for receiving the goodie provide your phone number that is optional and then if you want to join our whatsapp community feel free to scan this code and join the whatsapp community where we give all these announcements right so that was the submission guidelines the link of the submission guideline would be available in the description for your reference okay coming back to the document these are some of the tips which I wanted to give you that familiarize yourself with the modern design experiences, use UiPath built-in capabilities, right? Excel automation, web automation, do a proper error and exception handling, create a clear and informative logs to track your automation. Okay. Make sure that your automation is not closing and not opening every time it is inserting the data, right? Otherwise you will not get the final results, right? So these are the some tips which I wanted to give you. Talking about the dates, so these would be the dates. The challenge starts on 2nd of October, which is today. The challenge will end of 6th of October and you have the submission deadline till 12 p.m. IST, right? So you have uh, close to four days to complete this challenge and submit me the solution. Okay, so get ready to showcase your UiPath skill on the modern design and build a user friendly automation. Good luck with your submission. And in case you are not able to complete this solution, you have any doubts, any questions this Friday, which is the 6th of October, I would be releasing the complete solution of the video, right? So feel free to join that session where we would be coding that complete solution in a step by step manner, right? So okay. So that is all for this video. 
I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.